For those of you who don't know me, my name is Barry, Barry Burr. I'm an ordained interfaith, interspiritual minister. And the very first time I preached after I was ordained was here at sunrise. And so it's really a moving moment for me to be back here. Thank you so much for inviting me and for welcoming me back with my son, of course. So, and that's why I wore my stole today because I thought the first time I wore it was here. It didn't want to stay at home. And it's got all the symbols of all the different faiths on it. And I wanted to share that because I want to embody that. And I want to tell you why I want to embody that as an interfaith ambassador for the emissaries of divine light. So imagine for me a moment, imagine a world of trust, not just the beautiful, safe enclave that is Sunrise, that is Gatehouse, that is Riverdale, that is Edenvale, and that is the UK group of the emissaries, but a world full of trust and safety where our hearts are open to each other all the time and where we are curious about each other and where we want to learn about each other and love one another without judgment or prejudice. That is the world that I want to create and I want, I'm so proud to walk this path with you and to co-create it because it is not a world that any one person can create alone. Because I want to tell you that I have always seen interfaith as a garden. When I'm asked to speak to children and explain to them what is interfaith, I always say to them, well, what is your favorite flower? And they tell me, a rose, a daisy, a lily. And I go, yes, and which one does God love the best? And they, oh, there's no answer to that. So in this beautiful garden of interfaith, we are all planted in the same soil. Every human being on this planet is part of this garden. That is part of creation. That is part of the greater picture that, is, that stems from the one tone. And so it is time to really take that one tone and expand it out into the world and create more and more and more harmony. But just going back to that garden for a moment, the rose doesn't want to be the daisy. The daisy doesn't want to be the tree. Each one blooms and functions as perfectly as they were created to do in the fullness of their own sacred expression. And then somewhere along the line, there is the spiritual attribute of curiosity that comes in. I know myself. I was taught by the ancient philosophers, Plato and Socrates, that this is an important thing to know thyself. And once the rose knows itself in its, all its magnificence and has enjoyed its own fragrance, it doesn't stop being the rose when it wants to go out and now learn about who else is in my garden. Who else is nurtured by this soil? Who else is kissed by this rain and, this, and embraced by this sun? Who else feels the same breeze that I feel? And so the curiosity that we have expands and expands, and the rose now celebrates not only its own magnificence, it celebrates the magnificence of the entire garden. And that's how I want to see the world, and that is the path that we have. It's a very, very special role that the emissaries play in this because you have taught the world how it is to live in trust you show the world how it is to live with kindness and generosity and openness in a community that is there for everybody and now as we expand our awareness and we go and learn who it is who else is out there in our world bring them in celebrate them and give them the gifts of our learning. And that is what we are here to do. That is what interfaith is. That is what interfaith ministry is. I get to play, in other words. How much joy is that? I get to play in this beautiful, beautiful garden. I get to invite you all to play with me. And I get you all to, I ask you all to just share your voices. 
share the love that is in your heart. And thank you for the support that you bring to this beautiful garden that we are expanding together.